Plastics are incredibly useful. I think the way our society uses them today is not sustainable. But I do think that the use of plastics can be improved. First of all, I would suggest that we decide as a society which are the important uses of plastic, which are the essential uses in a way that we cannot do without. Once we've figured those out, I think what we can do is try to optimize this material based on our current scientific understanding, remove the hazardous chemicals and also develop industrial cycles where these materials can carefully be managed. But it's clear that the, the current prevalent use of plastics for all kinds of different products, single use packaging and so on, is not sustainable. I think when we talk about replacing plastic food packaging, it's very tempting to think about, okay, which material can we use to replace plastic? And there are a few good options in terms of migration and presence of non-hazardous chemicals. But I think what is really important here is that the best replacement for food packaging is no food packaging. Cheap single-use plastic packaging enables entire business models. And so for the large multinational companies to change what type of food packaging they use can be a process of five or 10 or, or maybe even more years because it is part of their business models. And so food packaging is just a symptom really of how food is produced and consumed. And if it's produced, in a globalized business model, then you have one location for producing the food and the food is filled into the food packaging at that one centralized location then shipped across the world. And so you need to have food packaging that would either adapt to that type of business model or even better, the business model would change to reduce the complexity of the, the global supply chains and make them much more local again. going to be critical uh, in our journey to reduce our plastic consumption is a shift towards much more local production of foods, local consumption of foods, much shorter supply chains and also the consumption of less highly or ultra processed foods. So people will probably need to change their habits quite a bit but it can also be fun to be more involved in your own food production and, and in your own cooking for example.